Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Fortress Solar Outdoor Security Camera with 1080p PTC 360 degrees view, Wi-Fi weatherproof and a lot of different features of course this solar panel here so i would say this is an awesome set here exactly what we want in 2022 ptc solar powered with some extra antennas for good wireless reach here we see some features already in the box but i'm going to show you everything anyway so let's open the box to see what we get so everything comes nicely protected comes with this instructions manual here we get the solar panel it's looking really nice here in the back of course we have it sealed so it's not removable but this is how it is and here on this side we have a standard micro usb cable this is what i really like uh, some other cameras have their dedicated cables and here we have standard cable so this is interchangeable and very good we get even some insulation material also some other charging cable micro usb which you can use to charge it for the first time then here we have the camera it's looking really good it's nicely protected also here we have to remove that so we can use it for the app to connect yeah very solid build so I'd say it has some decent size so quite some weight but of course we want to have it uh, in good quality so this is what we want uh, here we have the antennas we can move them around as you can see individually here we have the opening for the micro SD card charge reset everything and we get also this mount uh, this works like we secure this on a wall or on a tree or wherever you want to secure it with this four screws and so we have it like this mounted and then we secure this uh, camera with just one screw from the top this is as easy as it gets definitely the best construction which i've ever seen makes it also very flexible so you can turn it around in every direction which you want to have it especially regarding the antennas of course regarding the camera it's not needed because you can turn it around 360 degrees the awesome thing also regarding installation we have a flat surface here so we can put it down and then do everything what we have to do like inserting the micro sd card which is by the way not included we can adjust everything try and test this is absolutely awesome i'm using a 32 gigabytes uh, micro sd card samsung i highly recommend to use a really good class 10 uh, brand name something like that to prevent from any problems and this is how we uh, push it in uh, the pins go to the back and the writing to the front and then we just push it down here and we can feel that it snaps in and we can also easily release by pushing uh, down again you can see easy to add easy to retrieve and what I also like is this cover here, really massive and it's attached to the housing so we can't lose it. But of course we have also another opening, that's the one here and this is the one for the power. We use this of course for the solar panel which is included in the set. But also to give it an initial charge, I highly recommend to give it a full charge from a wall charger and only then put it outside. Later we are using this plug here and this port. Uh, to transfer the power from the solar panel of course we are using that only after mounting it but i'm going to show you that now how easy this is so instead of using this cover we are using the cover from the solar panel so you can see it's absolutely perfect protected against rain this is what we want to see then we have to download the app from the official play store let's say from google play store then we install and open it from here we create an account and then log in and then to connect this camera here to this app we click on the plus here on the right top uh, we select add a new device and of course we have to turn it on now so we long press here on top until we see a light here now we see the blue light okay i think it's ready to connect we hear this beeping sound this is exactly what's described here in the app i heard this sound here and so i click on next step we select the wi-fi to connect and here it's really important to select the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi from your internet service provider router or whatever router 
you are using select the Wi-Fi and then also provide the password to the router. It's not a password from this camera. It's the normal password from your router. And also make sure that you are already connected to the same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network with your phone. Uh, to prevent from any problems regarding connection. After that, you can select any kind of Wi-Fi on your phone. You can also use 3G, 4G, 5G, doesn't matter. It's just to connect. Then we click on next step. And then we get the QR code. We hold this in front of the camera here. Wi-Fi connected. And we already get the confirmation that Wi-Fi is recognized and connected. This is super fast, as fast as it can get. We give some information here, camera names, uh, location, these things. And so we have the new camera already in the overview together with all the uh, other cameras which we had already. It has new firmware. I highly recommend to do the upgrade now. And so we have upgraded the firmware and so let's click on play. Let's see if we can connect and get a live view. And we already have the picture. Of course it's turned around because we have the camera actually upside down but it's very easy to also solve this. If you're planning to use a camera like this we can go to the settings. We go to the advanced settings, installation settings and then we select the rotate image and it will be then turned around. Absolutely awesome. Flexible so also regarding the installation. So let's click on play again and let's go to full screen and really nice picture I would say and so we can see everything it doesn't even have a lot of lag we always have a little bit of lag with a battery operated camera but this is really acceptable absolutely no problem and we also have direct control here built in so we can move the camera to the left side we can move it to the right side as well and we can point the camera up and also down. You can see how fast this is responding. We can make a picture, uh, take a video, everything, talk. I mean, I'm not talking here to the camera because it would cause some uh, back coupling or so, but there's definitely two-way audio. And so we can also use the built-in microphone to listen here. We could turn this on here and also activate the microphone here so we could use this speaker to talk to somebody. It's definitely two-way audio. I'm not doing that because it would cause some back coupling because we are too close, but it's definitely working really good. And so I'm going to close all the footage, going to mount it outside, and then I'm going to show you some footage day and night. So I've done the installation about two days ago and everything was really straightforward, easy, especially with this mount here. And also this mount for the solar panel is good. What I really like is that most of it is really plastic, especially all the parts which could get wet or fully plastic. So there's no risk to rust or so. And everything is really solid built. Then of course I also wanted to show you some live footage and some options. So here we are at the app. By the way, I'm using the BlueStacks here, the BlueStacks emulation on my computer PC, Windows 10. This will work also, of course, Windows 11. So this is very helpful. So you can access all your footage and options and everything also from your PC and not only from your phone. What we have already on the front page here of the app is that we get the last image from each camera which we have. This is very convenient. And then we can either go directly to each camera or we can go to the library, which is the cloud storage, which is free. There's a free uh, one week rolling cloud that's included and this is really nice it's not showing the footage of one camera but of all your cameras which you have combined what we can see here already we have uh, quite some uh, false alerts here because it's a very difficult situation here where I have mounted the camera this is away from being optimal but I'm going to show you more in detail after that what's really interesting here when we go back let's say to yesterday during the night we have a lot of interesting footage here and you can see we have footage from different cameras and they are really merged in one timeline this is absolutely awesome this is something which you can't get from a camera which has only SD card and not cloud huge advantage here so let's check on one of the footage and you can also see that it's loading very fast that's another big advantage 
of the cloud you can see the footage is really nice i make this a little bit larger you can see i have activated the night light i mean the white night light so we get even some colorful image or colorful footage here of course as you can see here the camera uh, needs a little bit of time to react so i was already pretty close to camera when it started to record but this is a common thing with battery operated pir cameras nothing special i've already tested a lot of battery operated pir cameras and they have a very similar behavior of course they all have to save some battery capacity and so the cpu cannot run at full speed and so the detection is always a little bit later but this can be still very helpful of course also with the pir it's passive infrared it cannot work through a window or so these cameras have always to be outside but you can really see the nice footage here i would say the recording is really good also the colors are really nice with just a little bit of this extra illumination i mean it's not a flat light but, but it still helps a lot to make the image looking really nice here then let's also check a uh, footage with just a little bit of a remaining light here it was close to sunset you can see also very good so the image sensor has really high uh, light sensitivity which uh, helps during the day and especially during uh, when it's not so bright and during the night of course i have also some footage with just the infrared light and you can see it's not the same so i highly suggest to use the white light during the night i'm going to show you how to activate that the footage is much better i would say so let's go to the live camera here we click on that so we get to the live streaming of the camera and you can see we are live we have already a couple of options we can use the uh, ptc functions uh, positioning white light uh, we can even uh, create an audible alarm loud alarm if you see something happening here you could click on that and immediately the alarm would sound is really nice we can also listen to the audio what's going on here and then use this button here to talk to people absolutely perfect we can increase the size here of course by the way it's not exactly the same as you have it on your your phone because i don't have multi-touch here but it's very similar you can see what's important here we can choose from the automatic sd or hd uh, quality as long as you have good connection i recommend to use hd the reception in general is good it's not top notch you have to make sure that you have like a wireless router or so pretty close but as long as you can maintain a good uh, quality connection the quality of the image is really good and everything works good to move the camera to the left side and uh, to the right side and uh, up i mean i'm already fully up here so it doesn't go uh, further up but i can go down and you can see everything is super responsive the camera is reacting very fast there are no lags i've already seen a lot of ptc cameras which are not very responsive so this is reacting very fast so we can go to the left side fully as you can see so we are totally going here to the back and we can move to the other side so here we are halfway now let's go fully to the right side and we can see we are back here on the tree so we have even more than 360 degrees of view of course while it's moving it's a little bit shaky and the quality is not perfect while we are moving the camera around but as soon as we stop moving it the quality is really really good again we can even zoom in like with a double click here or zoom out again of course with the mobile phone it will uh, be much better with the multi zoom what we also see here is the viewing angle we are basically in the corner here you can see the uh, right side and I, ha I have to move just a little bit to the left side we can see everything so i would say we have pretty much a 90 degrees angle because i am not perfectly in the corner here the colors are also very good i would say it has a good dynamic range as well we can also start directly recording if you see something you can directly record it from here you can stop it and then it saves it to the album you can make same thing with a screenshot and when we go out again you can see we have more options especially we can activate the white light directly so we have colorful uh, footage also during the night again the alarm and what we have here very good 
very special uh, function here with the positioning so here we can predefine frequently watched positions i can show you that so i would say this is the perfect position for like everyday uh, monitoring so i'll add this here and i can even give it a name confirm and then we have it here and we can go directly here with just one click so let's go to the detail view again let's move it to the right side so here we have the back of the home so let's go back again and now we add this position as well we call it back of home we confirm and now we have these two positions and you can see uh, when i click on this one here it goes back to the old position and when i click here it goes to the back of the home this is super convenient i mean this is a total game changer a lot of ptc cameras don't have this function and this helps a lot this is absolutely awesome this makes it much more convenient to really use the ptc functions so then let's also go a little bit into the settings we can see it has a very good wireless reception states online you can see even more details here and what we also see that the charge is at 62%. Yesterday I've seen it at 50%. So the charging capability of the solar panel is really, really good. So it charges every day at least 10 or 20% when it's discharged. So this will then last for a long, long time because the camera doesn't use a lot of power unless you have a lot of false alerts. But as long as you have it in a good location with not a lot of trees shaking shaking branches a lot of crazy shades like in my situation then the battery will last for many many months even without recharging the battery and here we have the solar panel then we have also some functions which we can upgrade like the ai functions you need to buy a subscription for that but then you have a lot of really nice possibilities for person detection vehicle detection pet detection these things and same with the advanced notification settings but of course we can still activate and deactivate activate normal notifications without subscription also same with the activity soon if you want to add a special activity soon or prevent a lot of false alerts in specific areas like here with the tree and the shades and those things uh, this could be an awesome thing and help a lot but we still have a lot of settings which we can activate also without a premium subscription we have the motion detection which is on we have three different settings so i set it to low here because of the uh, false alerts which i get from the tree then we can uh, set a shooting interval so it will then wait till it shoots the next clip and we can also limit the duration or make it automatically uh, when it stops uh, detecting some movements and of course it's highly recommended to go on hd and then we have the perfect settings here so what we have seen here so far is live view and cloud view but we have also this sd card video because the cloud is limited to one week and so here when we have like a 32 gigabytes card we have the footage here directly from the micro sd card which we have uh, put into the camera and this won't be deleted after one week so if you are in a quiet location this could last for months or even years without deleting of course after the micro sd card is full it will overwrite it but uh, this is really helpful and as you can see this works also very good really nice uh, footage here that's directly from the sd card and i will keep this almost forever so i can also go back to old uh, days or so and then of course a, a very important the lighting settings uh, of course i want to have the indicator light but if you want to prevent that like intruders ca can see the camera you can de deactivate that you can even activate a flashlight alarm so this is a good alternate solution to like an uh, audible alarm that you have a flashlight alarm that intruders will realize there is a camera and then maybe they will already go away without going into your home this could be a really nice solution then of course i have activated the night vision with the additional white light that's the thing here you can choose between the infrared mode which is black and white or the white light which is colorful i like the thing so i think that's the most important options here so for me everything looks really good i would say it's nice quality and we have a lot of options this is absolutely 
awesome so many functions so many options so i would say it's a very good option as a surveillance camera and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order drive from there if you like it and so i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time